6 a.m. and ending Saturday, August 15th at 6 p.m. I bet it told us there would be a brief uh, closure for that closure for that project, and it, it, it's, it's going to be upon us shortly. What was the date again? Saturday, August. I mean Thursday, August 13th at 6 a.m. Closing and, and opening on August 15th at 6 p.m. That's a Saturday. It's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Where's that at? Um, five bucks lunch, or oh, four yeah. bucks lunch, five, fifty <coughs> uh, So don't forget our Cecil Carnivals going on right now. Um, there's a bunch of items you can read. Please read on our agenda while you're uh, sitting there. Uh, our, our resolutions, number 140-2015, we need to uh, consider an application for payment number one for 2015 pavement and maintenance program contract B or completed an amount of $495,931.61. Dan, is that the number you came up with for? Uh, yeah, Joe's, Joe's here. He's the project manager on the uh, maintenance project. And he's made uh, that recommendation for that amount. And if there's any questions uh, to the board. Was that the King Road section part of that? Because that, that turned out really good. Yeah, the King Road section. They did a good job. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, so moved. It's been moved. And seconded. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries. 
going to turn this off. Right. For 141 2015, it's a payment number one for the Coleman River Retaining Wall Project. It actually worked completely with a date in the amount of $49,514.85. So, motion. Second. second. And second of those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries. Uh, for 142 2015, it's the, uh, we had the conditional use hearing, and this is uh, the conditional use application for Crown Castle. Communication tower located on 78 Lewinke Road. Um, well, I want to mention something too. I know uh, if you're ready to make a motion. Um, I, I think our, our discussion based on that application was that the original tower that went in, it was uh, planned at the time. I guess it was well thought out and planned, and it didn't create any issues for the township. Uh, so I, that was part of the, the decision. Uh, that or, or the information we took into consideration. So, you're talking, motion. Excuse me, are you talking about now or 15 years ago? Oh, about 15 years ago. So, if you have a motion for. Yeah, I would uh, I'd like to make a motion on a condition. Um, after listening to everything at the, the hearing that we had, um, I can agree. Crown Castle, you know, it does look like they need a new cell phone tower there, or their telecommunications tower. And I can agree with that. But, um, when I look at what the, the landowner that owns it wants to move it 2,200 feet and put most of the impact on other people further run, I think with him having 70 to 80 acres of property and his two lots there, that we could keep it in the same general area. And I think it would serve their purpose of having a new tire and it wouldn't be an impact to the residents. So my, my motion, my condition is that the new communication tire be located 300 feet or less north or east from the existing communication tower. Now by doing that, what you're going to do is you'll still be able to keep it uh, the 1,000 feet you need in the southern direction from the uh, Maple Ridge development and you'll still be able to keep it the same distance back that they've given a variance for from, from the um, South Point Golf Course and the Fairway Landing Project. So it'll still let them keep it in the same general area in front of Castle could have their tower. Can we possibly get the map up again, uh, John? Well, he's bringing it up. Uh, I, I assume the motion is to approve that conditional use uh, with that condition on it. That's for this yeah. distance condition. Can we please have a second to this? I'll second that. Okay, we'll put we'll, we'll, your question. Let's look out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Use the pointer, the, the pointer show, uh, make sure Elizabeth sees. Uh, it's a little dark. Ours is bright on our screen. Why is yours so dark? I'm not sure. Um, right here is the distance between uh, the existing tower and the Maple Ridge development, which is approximately 1,135 feet. Um, if you shift the tower. Problem from the existing tower. From the existing tower to the Maple Ridge development, it is 1,135 feet. If you would shift the tower, the tower would be shifted 300 feet south, that would infringe and violate the 1,000 foot setback uh, from a reported subdivision. The existing tower, from the existing tower To the proposed tower is 2,213 feet. So, so the motion in north direction is almost uh, due north to the proposed tower on that red line. That's exactly right along right right there. Access road. And east, that's obviously and 90 east. degrees to the right. So, so that, that, that was a motion, Mrs. Cobb, that, that they, they were permitted to relocate or to build a new tower. And how far is that from the uh, on the property of the objective? Um, you'd have to take what? 2,213 and subtract 
the towers to be 202 feet west of the property of Sage, et cetera. And the proposal of pension. Yes. And so what your, your proposal? Just to be in the same general area where it's at right now. Where the existing tower is. And how does that, what effect does that have on any adjacent property owners? Who are the property owners? And what are they? Could you trip right across and draw a circle around there with your pointer so she can see? I can see where it's proposed, but what I can't tell from that is who are the adjacent property owners. Was it three hundred feet, uh, Mr. Sabatino? Is the property in there? That's all around. Okay. Right. That's the two lots of the units that has what for is seventy seventy yes seventy to eighty acres of lots in the units. Yes. Are you guys talking about the microphone, please? Bruce, it doesn't help what I proposed. I can hear you. I'm just trying to see who the adjacent property owners are to the proposed new location. The National yes. It's basically still in the center of uh, Mr. Sabatino's. And how far is it? How far is it from the property line? The Sabatino property line, east and west. I don't know, Bruce. Do you have a rough idea what that is? Uh, oh, I was, 200 feet is my recollection. No, no, no. Um, the, the existing tower. The existing tower to east and west where the owners of the property there. Uh, it's my understanding that this, that this gentleman owns this entire parcel. So, it, it, so uh, it's basically centered in that parcel. So it looks like the map, according to what it looks like, looks like there's at least um, 1,500 to 200 feet of them where the ends are, right? Yes. Am I, am I approximate or right with that? Yes. And if, if you went north, you'd be right along your access road. They're coming in anyway. Okay, and your proposal, Andy, was? Um, 300 feet or less from the existing tower. And, and, and either north or east. Or east. So if we went west, Elizabeth, what you'd be doing is you'd be going in the, over towards the south point. You can see the cross 79 fairway. I see that. And if you go south, you go into the other development. So it would keep it away from those two. Okay, and that's from the existing tower, and that's on the south side of the road. It would have to be, yeah, it would have to be east or north, which is, is it looks to me, Bruce, I don't know, according to the map, it looks like there's probably 800 to 900 feet of the road. Yes. The 300 feet of that. To the left of the page, you see this area here. That is actually the PennDOT maintenance facility. <coughs> the maintenance garage or maintenance for the PennDOT. And, and the road to the right that appears to be through the woods. What is that, Marganza Road? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. All right. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, There's a motion and a second to approve the, the, the conditional use uh, request with the condition that it be located within 300 feet of the existing tower in either northerly or easterly direction. It's been moved and seconded. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries.